Good afternoon, it is 4.36pm on Thursday 29th of October 2020. My name is Aaron Hunt, I'm a partner here at Stace Hammond and I head up the Migration Partners team. Uh, first thing, last night we hit 1,000 subscribers here on the channel, so thank you to those of you who have subscribed. It is it gets us some, um, some confirmation that we are doing something which you find of use and of value. Um, and if you do find these videos of value, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and hit that like button. It really does help us get the message out and uh, help more people in regards to immigration in New Zealand. We will be doing a special video uh, this weekend for a thousand subscriber special. It'll be a bit longer, a bit different, but hopefully be of use both now and in the future uh, as things progress. Today's video is a short one. It is unfortunately going to be a sad one for a number of you, um, and, but it does bring through a few things that we have been hinting at that we thought might be coming um, and it has now been confirmed. Now, quickly, I just want to do a shout out to Virali Singh. I hope I said, said your name correctly, uh, who did raise this with us this morning in the YouTube comments that this was something that she had heard about and we have now, we want to wait we had confirmation. We have confirmation now um, and so now we're going to let you know that the temporary visa suspension on um, applications from off offshore that was put in place in August and put through till November has now been extended for another three months to February 2021. What this means is that you'll not be able to apply for a visa uh, when you're offshore to come to New Zealand until February 2021 unless you either fit into one of these exceptions we're going to go through in a moment or you have a, a border exception application so you've applied through the website and they've given you an um, invitation to apply. <clears throat> now there is four exceptions to this which we're going to list here. Um, I'm going to cut and paste the text from this email to the description of the video so you see exactly the text we've received from Immigration New Zealand which isn't that much and it is a little bit confusing which we're about to cover now. Now the four exceptions we're going to go through in reverse order. So first thing is recognised seasonal employer RSC limited visas. These are visas uh, that employers can obtain for employees and the employer must be um, selected to do this and it's in relation to picking fruit, horticulture, that sort of thing. It's a limited term visa it runs over the summer to allow them to bring in staff to, to do those, those tasks. Next is the Antarctic Traveller Visitor Visa and Antarctic Work Visas. You might not know that New Zealand is the jump off point for Antarctica. Flights come out of Christchurch and to Antarctica and back to Christchurch again. So the travellers come through New Zealand to do that. Uh, there's visas for di diplomatic, consular, official staff, so sort of government based things. And the fourth exception that says uh, the wording is the following offshore temporary entry class visa applications are not affected. And the fourth one is relationship based visas for partners and dependent children of New Zealand citizens and residents. Now those of you who fall into that category of being a partner of a New Zealand citizen or resident will know that earlier this month they brought in the ability to apply for a border exception for those of you who are in visa waiver countries. But so you were still affected by the ban but you needed the border exception uh, application to be able to apply for that visa. The next um, this would seem to suggest that there is a change there or that they're going to be expanding that. Now before you, those of you who are from non-visa where the countries get too excited, I think this could just be badly worded. Uh, we have not heard anything about there being a change and that would be a rather drastic large change which would bring uh, a number of new applications coming in. So we want to get clarification from Immigration New Zealand that that visa type is now not affected because right now it is still affected and it has been since August. You've been unable to apply for that offshore um, offshore temporary entry visa application for being a partner of New Zealand citizen or resident without getting that border exception done first. This would suggest otherwise. So I believe it is just a poorly worded email. So until there's clarification we wouldn't we would suggest people don't get their hopes up that this is a change in policy. Um, if that change of policy was going to take place, we'd expect it to be a lot larger than this one paragraph and this one line in this one paragraph. So we will go to immigration and try to get clarification on that. Until then, um, 
hope for the best but just plan for the status quo as things currently are to not be changing at least not for the time being um, and that is about all we've got from this there's very little in here uh, there's a bit for more bit here about skilled migrant job search visas so those of you who are on skilled migrant um, who are waiting for a skilled migrant visa there is uh, agencies helping skilled migrants for that um, who have lost their job and trying to find uh, an equivalent we will provide a link to that in the description below as well and that is it for today's video so fairly short and uh, not so sweet unfortunately hopefully have some better news next time we will be back in a few days time with our special video until then kia kaha and stay safe